Hi there. As inflation rises, so does our stress levels. We're all feeling the pinch in our economies and in our pockets. So I'm going to tell you, here's five steps to better manage your money. As we have all seen at the gas station and at the grocery store, prices are rising due to inflation. These are very inflationary times. Recovering has been very slow post-pandemic, in this post-pandemic economy. Consumers, we consumers are anxious about this inflation. So what should we be doing with our money at a time like this, during this inflation times? Number one, consider investing. This is not the time to have to, to, to grow the savings account. There's still very little interest rates. So invest in, in, in have investments like in gold, invest in stocks, in gold, in bonds, in real estate. Have a diverse portfolio that will grow at any time like bonds and treasury inflation protected securities. They're called tips. Number two, don't buy a car. If you can avoid it like the plague, don't buy it. This is not the time to make big expenditures. Although auto loans are still low, the auto prices have gone way up, as we all know, right? And inflation on used cars is even worse. Try selling your car and getting a new car. It's almost, they're going to give you almost, they're going to ask almost for the, the same price when they're selling your used car than when, they, when they're selling an, a new car. So it's, it's, it's really amazing. So, you know, we really have to watch it. We really have to watch our pockets right now and be, and be a wise with our money. Number three, eat your veggies. It's always a good thing. So if your New Year's resolution is to eat more veggies, you got it. This is the time. Most of the rises consumers notice, we consumer, consumers are noticing, are due to animal-derived products. So go for it. Go for more plant-based meals. I already did it many, many, many years ago, over 12, 20 years ago. I know we're all different, so, but uh, it, it's, it's, it's healthy. Number four, it's a time to cut out the excess like entertainment sub subscriptions. Anything unnecessary. Now, when essentials like gas and, and food have gone up, it's key to make priorities. So, stay with the necessary. Number five, buy. Don't rent if you can avoid it. Buy real estate Buying real estate benefits us because it historically does well during inflationary times like this. So the value of our home will rise. And if you're renting, we're likely rise. We're more than likely rise. And if you're renting, your landlord can charge more money for a rent. Now, contact your legal shield provider attorney, the company I represent. And I've been a product of the product for over 20 years. To contact them, to contact us, your law firm provider attorney, to discuss your consumer's finance needs. And when you have a legal shield and an ID shield identity theft protection, you receive the additional benefit of credit counseling and education. You get advice on managing your finances to maintain and develop a healthy credit. It's very important. We need to protect we want to protect our, 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 and, and build a healthy credit. Also, our legal shield provider law firm will advocate for us in the complicated world of credit matters, including sending a letter of, uh, on our behalf if they think it's going to help us. And most of the time, it will help. So, above all, protect your rights. Get to know your rights first and foremost. And, and get them protected. I hope this helps and I'll see you on the next one.